All right, hey guys, this is Gradius, and this is the video for simplifying expressions. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be simplifying expressions by using both the distributive property and combining like terms. So if you do not know how to combine like terms or use the distributive property, please go watch those videos first because I'm going to, we're going to use those two skills in order to be able to do these problems. So what, we what we're going to do today is we're going to take expressions like this one, and we're going to make them look much less complicated. Okay, we're going to try to get them down to just two terms, either one term with a variable and then one term with a constant. Okay, so we're going to use everything we've learned from distributive property and combining like terms in order to make these, in order to simplify these. So what we're going to do is the first thing we always want to do whenever we look at an expression. So here's my first expression I see here. And I want to ask myself, is there any parentheses that I want to get rid of by using the distributive property? I like to get rid of parentheses right away. And if we notice this very beginning piece right here, we do have parentheses that we can get rid of. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the distributive property to get rid of these parentheses. And then we're going to rewrite everything that we have. So I do have 5 times negative x minus 4. So that means I need to take my 5 and multiply it by both pieces inside the parentheses. 5 times negative x is negative 5x, 5 times negative 4, positive times a negative, so my answer is negative, 5 times, 5 times 4 is 20, and then I still have all of this over here, so I need to be sure that I rewrite that down so I don't get confused and I don't get mixed up with what I have and what I don't have. So this expression right here became this by using the distributive property. These are equal to each other. All we did is we just rewrote it in a different way after using the distributive property. Now, I have a problem very similar to what we did when we were working on combining like terms. I have a few terms that have the same variable in it, and then I have a constant. So I'm going to box up all of my like terms. So I've got negative 5x, positive 4x, negative 3x, and I'm going to combine them. I'm going to uh, add or subtract all these together, combine them all. So if I have, um, let's see, I'll combine my negatives first, negative 5 and negative 3 make negative 8x. I'll do this over on the side here. So negative 5, negative 3 make negative 8, and I keep my x. And then I still have this positive 4x. So I have different signs here, so negative 8 and positive 4. When I combine those, I get negative 4, and I keep the variable attached. So when I combine these three boxes, all my variables, all my like terms that have the variable, I have negative 4x. And then I look at my constants and see, is there anything that I need to do with my constants here? Here's my one constant, negative 20. I don't have anything to combine it with, so I need to make sure just to rewrite that down here. And then there's my simplified expression. I have two terms, one with the variable, one constant, negative 4x minus 20. There's nothing else I can do with this. I cannot um, use the distributive property. I cannot combine these because they are not like terms. So this is a simplified expression, and this is my final answer. Let's look at another one. Okay, It looks very complicated, but really, it's just two problems in one. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look and see if we can use a distributive property. And then after that, what we want to do is we want to combine like terms. So I have my parentheses here. I have two things inside the parentheses that I cannot simplify because they are not like terms. So well, I notice I, I want to multiply by using the distributive property. Here's a big trick with this, though. I have 4x minus 2 times negative x minus 4. This negative sign, this subtraction sign, we treat it as if it's attached to this 2 as a negative sign. So when I distribute, let me put a box around this to help. When I distribute, I'm actually distributing negative 2 to both pieces. So be careful. Always carry the sign with the number. Negative 2 times negative x. And remember, if there's no number in front of the variable, we can always pretend like there's a 1 there. So it's really just negative 2 times negative 1. I have a negative times a negative, which gives me a positive 2. Bring the variable with it. Negative times a negative here is also going to give me a positive. Whoa. Also going to give me a positive. So I have 2 times 4 is 8. So when I use the distributive property to get rid of these parentheses, I get 2x plus 8. But I still have this 4x and 3x on the outside, so I need to make sure I bring those down and don't lose track of those. So here's my new expression that I'm working on simplifying. What I'm going to do is I'm going to box all of my like terms. 4x, positive 2x, positive 3x, 
positive 3x, and I know that I need to combine 4x, 2x, and 3x. Well, luckily they're all positive, so I can just add them all. 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So I have 9x plus 8. And I'm all done. And I brought down my 8 because that's the only constant. I don't have to combine that with anything. So it made life a little bit easier on myself. Just brought it straight down, and there's my simplified expression. Okay. One more real quick before we look at something else. So now I have, again, I want to use the distributive property to get rid of the parentheses first. And there's nothing inside these parentheses that I can simplify. And so I need to multiply everything in order to get rid of them. So I have a positive 4 that I'm multiplying everything by. So I'm taking this positive 4, multiplying it by negative 3x, multiplying it by 3. So I'm just going to bring my 12 down. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Keep the x attached to it. 4 times 3 is positive 12. And then I still have this 5x on the end here. Box up my like terms with the variable. So I have negative 12x, positive 5x. If I combine positive 5 with negative 12, um, I have different signs. So I'm going to subtract those two numbers, keep the sign of my bigger number. So 12, I have more negatives than I do positives. So I know it's going to be negative. And 12 minus 5 is 7. So I have negative 7x. And then I'm going to go ahead and circle my constants, the numbers that don't have a variable, 12 and 12. And 12 plus 12 is 24. So negative 7x plus 24 is my simplified expression. So we want to, I want to show you guys one more thing real quick. And that is a little tricky thing that we call to call distributing a negative. So if I have this, this expression right here, 4x minus parentheses 3x plus 2, I'm really subtracting everything inside the parentheses. That's what this minus sign means. I am subtracting everything inside my parentheses. Okay, it's not just minus 3x, it's minus all of 3x plus 2. I don't know what 3x plus 2 is, so what I have to do is I have to distribute this negative just like what we did before with the distributive property, but now I don't have a number attached, I just have a negative sign. So really what I'm doing is it's like there's an imaginary one in the front here. And I'm distributing negative one, to, and I'm multiplying both pieces inside my parentheses by negative one. So I still have the four x in the front, but when I distribute this negative, I'm distributing negative one times three x. Well, negative one times three well, 1 times 3 is 3, but if I have a negative times a positive, it changes the sign to a negative 3x. Negative times positive 2 is negative 2. So by distributing a negative, really what I'm doing is I'm just taking everything inside my parentheses, and I'm just changing the sign. So if it was positive, it becomes negative. If it was negative, it's going to become a positive. And then from here, I can combine my like terms, 4x, negative 3x, which makes 1x, and then I've got my constant here, which I don't have anything to combine it with, so I just have x minus 2, and I'm done. Okay, so let's look at one more problem. This is the final example, and we're just going to look at this one because this one ha makes you distribute a negative in it. So go ahead and practice this, pause the video and practice this one real quick, see if you can do it, and then come back and check. So what we're going to do, hopefully you guys worked it out a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these parentheses because I have parentheses and I want to simplify my expression. And so in order to get rid of these parentheses, I need to distribute this negative. This does not just become minus 5x because I'm subtracting everything inside of here. So really, I'm just taking this, uh, this negative sign. I'm distributing it to both pieces. And again, we can kind of place a 1 in front if we like to because we can see I'm just taking negative 1 and I'm multiplying it by 5 negative 1 multiplying it by negative 12. So my negative 3x is still here. Negative 1 times 5x is negative 5x. So I have a negative times a positive. Negative 1 times negative 12 is positive 12. So as I said before, whenever we're distributing a negative, all we're doing is we're getting rid of our parentheses and we're rewriting the signs. We're changing the signs of what was inside our parentheses. So 5x became negative 5x. Negative 12 became positive 12. Now I can finish off by combining my like terms. I've got negative 3x, negative 5x. If I were to combine all these negatives, it's going to stay negative, and I'll have 8 negative x, or negative 8x. 
And then my constant, I don't have anything to combine it with, positive 12, bring that down. Here's my simplified expression. So go ahead and get some practice. I hope this video helps. And if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, thanks.